Hi, I'm Ms. Johnson and this is Ms. Jones. We're here at Adams Elementary School. This is our fifth grade class. Um, today we're going to be going into science and we are going to be making observations and measurements, um, identifying properties of certain objects, okay? All right, guys, so we're going to review. We've been talking about matter. We talked about matter on, uh, we introduced matter on Friday and then we um, talked about matter on yesterday, okay? And so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using scales um, and we're going to measure objects based on their properties. We're gonna be identifying their properties um, and we're gonna measure them to see the weight of each one of the objects, okay? All right, so when we look at it, we weigh matter on a scale to find its mass because we know that um, our matter, our three states of matter, who can tell me what our three states of matter are? All right. Good, solid, liquid, and gas. And we know that anything that takes up space is what? Anything that takes up space is what? Matter. And all matter has what, Navi? Volume and valent. Mass. Good job. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use our scales and we are going to measure objects. Okay. Um, also, I just want to share that gravity is a force that pulls all things toward the center of the earth. Um, the more mass something has, the bigger the pull, so the more weight. Remember yesterday we talked about the different balls and we looked at different sizes of balls to see which one of the balls has the greater mass, remember? And we looked at two types of balls that were the same, but we know that which one, let's, let's talk about which, which, type of, which two types of balls were they, TJ? Small and big. But what were the two balls? Do well, you remember what, what, what kind of balls they were? Help them out, Nevaeh. Beach. It, was, was it a beach ball? What was one? Not the beach. We did beach ball. Basketball. We did a small beach ball basketball. and we did a small basketball. beach ball. We did a basketball and a bowling ball. And they were the same size, but we figured out that the bowling ball has the most yeah. what? Yeah. Mass because it was... Jayla was not bigger because they were the same size, way more, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing, all right? So we're, every group is going to get scales, okay? All right, guys. So everybody has a scale. Everybody has three objects, right? And you have weights, okay? So you're going to work together in your groups. Everybody's going to pick up your first object, looking at your recording sheet, all right? Everybody's going to pick up the first object. You're going to pass the object around so you can use um, your five senses, okay? How does it look? How does it feel, okay? Um, to figure out um, what your object is, all right? So when you look at the first object and you pick it up and you pass it around, everybody touch it, and you're going to answer the question. So the first question, my object is what it looks like, how it does it feel? Does it make a sound? All right, and then after that, then you're gonna weigh it. So you're gonna put your object on one end of the scale and then you're gonna use your weights to see if it, um, how much, how much, how many weights you need in order to figure out how much the object weighs, okay? All right, you have three objects to do as a, in a table, as a group. Are we good? Yeah. All right, all right, y'all can start working. All right, and Ms. Johnson's gonna be coming around, making sure that everybody you could do start with either one, but you gotta do uh, no, no, gotta pass it around first because you gotta tell what it is and all that. I want you to feel it. I want you to touch it. Okay. All right. Your first question. My object is what is it? And then talk and discuss how does it look. All right, and how does it feel? All right. All right, your first object is balloon. Okay, and discuss how does it look? Okay, y'all gotta talk and how does it look? How does it feel? Does it make a sound? Okay. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's green. It feels like a rubber. It's a weird shape. So we can put. That's a good word. Yeah. What, does it, what, does it sound like? what do you think? Wooden. I said, wooden. Wooden. I like wooden. All right. What else? Uh, 
Looks like it's a solid. I agree. I agree. So let's we, we could put we could we could say a wooden solid. Okay. Good. And then your next one is my object feels like. How does it feel? Okay. okay. All right. So my object looks like. What did we come up with? What does our object look like? Oh, big one. What kind of shape could this be? Like it's circle. We have a like a circle where it's like long. Like oval? Yeah. Oval. What else? Circle because it's tall. Because we're here. Yeah, the top. Rubbery. Okay. Green and rubbery. And so does your object take up space? Yeah. Mean it has what? It, it has, it's made, it has volume, good job, and mass, good job, all right. All right, so go to the object two. Which one y'all wanna do next? Okay, try to pass it around so that everybody's able to feel it. So we can do our measurements. How does it feel, guys? I thought we did feel, how does it feel? How's it feel, Kaya? Did you touch it, honey? What do you? How's it feel? Smooth, but also hard. You think, guys? I think hard too. Yep, smooth. Okay. And the next one: Does your object make a sound? Does it make a sound? No, Kimaya saying no. I don't think it makes a sound either, guys. You got to see because it has to be um, hard. Is on this side. She's going to tell us. We want to make sure that it has to be. We have to know that our weight. I mean, our scale has to be even, right? So that's how we got to figure out how many weights or how many gram. Because we're measuring in grams. How many weights we need to put in here to see what's the measurement for our mushroom? Okay. So, okay. Let's put. Let's put ten. Let's see. Ooh, need a little bit more, huh? You, we gonna add, I would think we would add, would add to it. What do y'all think? Okay, y'all gotta help her out. Ooh. Okay, so that look like it might be a little bit too, right? So I think we need to take something out because it has to be. So we still gotta add because it has to be right in the middle. What do you think we need to add to it? Okay, let's wait. Wait, 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 come on, you gotta wait, honey. Wait till I have to stop rocking. <laughs> what you think? Uh, I think, let's, what do y'all think? Let's go, let's take out. Let's see. Yep, I think so, right? Because it's right in that middle. You see that, Kyle? It's right in the, on that long line. So now we have to count to see how many grams it is. All right, so let's count. Let's start with the big one, which is 20 plus a 10, which is how many? 30. 30, which, and then 30. This is a 2, so that's 32. And then we have these are 1, so 30. Three. 33, 30. Four. All right, so how much did the mushroom weigh? 34 and put G for grams. Y'all got it? How much, oh, the balloon, guys, is it right on it? Oh, I think so. You don't think so? Let's see. What you think? Would it, you only have one? Put. Try to put another one there. Let's try two and let's just see. It's too heavy. So I think maybe one. Let's take that one out, um, JC on. So one gram. All right, balloon, one gram. So we need to add. 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 Add.
I just like it and just see. Okay. It's going to be in the middle, right? Yeah. All right. Should we try adding five or just one? Five. Can we try adding five? It moved like a tent. Just a teeny bit? Yeah. Like a tent. Yeah. Not in the middle. Though. Like like this. All right, should we add one more or five? Five. five. Add the big one. Add the big one? Yeah. It uh -oh. moved. It moved. It moved a little. But it's not equal. Should we add now? Five more. Five more? Five more? Yeah. It moved. Uh -oh. So now what we need to do? Change it. Take one out. Take one five out. Take one five out. Okay. It moved, so we need one more. You think? Yeah. Yeah, one more. It does not feel like a spoon. See what it does, Akai. Yep, it's good. It's good. You think it's good? Yeah. No, it just like feels like an inch. Okay. All right. Try adding one more. Yes, yes, that's good. All right. It's good. All right. not doing that much. All right, so we have two fives. So that's what? Five plus five is? Ten. Okay. We have one, two, three, four. We have five ones. That means 20. So we have five, five, and five. What's five plus five? Ten. All right, and then ten plus five. Oh, fifteen. Good job. Yeah, I think we have a little jug. Oh, yeah, it's not. Oh, so it's not too. Yeah, that's two. Let's try again. Taylor, do you have a one? Yeah. Um, 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 let's try again. Let's try again. Okay. Oh, do y'all gotta wait till it's time to She's problem solving, trying to. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. What are we going to do? You think it's too heavy? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Come on. You got to wait for it. To, you have to wait for it because it's going to move a little bit. So you got to wait for it to stop, okay? All right, so I think that's about it. It's a little heavy, right? So we need to do some, what we need to do. Take. You want to take the what? Okay, that's not, let's say that's 20. So take the 20 out. Let's take the 20 out. And maybe let's add some fives. Do we have the, or 10? Let's try taking out one. Uh oh. Yeah, that's good. I that's think good? You think that's good? Yeah. All right, we're going to take them out. What will you say, TJ? Put it in the middle. Then look right here. Yeah. See this, the little arrow? Oh, yeah. yeah, the arrow yeah. shows how it like, And does it look level? So how many are going to do Yeah, OK, let's try it. Yeah, that's what I like. She wants to go. Let's try one more. Good job. So how do you have? Uh, I think it might be too heavy. It's not moving at all. Okay, it's not moving. Okay, but maybe let's try something a little later. Okay, let, let's try that. You learned that they are all solids and they have volume. What did, what did you learn, Vela? Sometimes they're not all different sizes. Some of them are not all different sizes, so that means they all had a different weight, didn't they? Yes. Yep. They all felt different, okay? Some of them are heavier. Which one was your heaviest, guys? Um, the heaviest I think it was the dice. The cube? The cube. The cube. And what was your, which one was the uh, weight the least? The dice. Um, the small one. No, oh, the paper? No, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was the dice. Oh, it was a small, okay. The small. And different, like they're both die. And just look at how this is, it's bigger. Right, a little softer, and this one you would think eh, maybe it's a little bit heavier because of the different material that it's made out of, right? Okay, good job. That's 50 grams. So 50 plus 50 plus 
Five. Sixty one. Oh yeah, so fifty fifty five. Sixty. Sixty one. Sixty one what? Grams. Good job. And a second is the what? The, okay, so the balloon is, because we know that air is inside that balloon, right? But the actual, like if we take the air out, then the balloon would be a solid, right? Okay, so you can do both. When we blow that up and we know that we're putting gas, which is air, inside of that balloon, and we know that that is a type, that's one of our states of matter, right? Okay. All right, so what did we learn about our, uh, what did we learn about our objects? What's something you learned, JC, on about our objects? Okay, it takes up some space. If the balloon was bigger, it would take up more space. If I would blow this up bigger, it would take up more space, right? Okay. Um, Everly, something you learned about the objects? Okay, over the grams, the weights. Okay. Let's go back over what we were supposed to be doing. What did we say we were going to do in the beginning of our um, lesson? We were going to do what? Who remembers? Everly? We were going to um, put our objects on like a scale, see how much they each weigh. Okay, so we were going to, we were going to, we were going to be able to um, use measurements and um, our properties of each of our items to see how much they weigh, okay? Who can tell me, what did you learn about your objects? Each group had three. Who can tell me something they learned about their objects? Anavi? Um, they were all, they were all um, different sizes. They were all of different sizes, okay, TJ? They all feel different. They all feel, felt different? Jaharis? Different shapes, good, Jaharis. Heaven? All of them take up space, and that's what we're talking about. Objects that take up space and have, what is it, guys? That has volume, and that we had to use our scale. And I want you all to notice that's the scales that we use. We're going to be using them a lot throughout the school year because that's a scale that you would see identical to what you would see on, an, on a checkpoint or some type of assessment. So that's why we're using them so you can get used to them. Also, the different types, the weights that we use. Um, in grams, these are some identical ones that you'll see in pictures on checkpoints and assessment. So I like these. These are some ones that we um, purchased and so we were able to use. You'll, you'll see these. Okay, they'll look like this. All right. So do you think we were successful? You think we figured that out? You think we were able to use our balance, use our scale, excuse me, to weigh our objects? All right. What did we weigh our objects in? Nevaeh? In scale, but what was it? We weighed them in? Elijah? Grams, okay? And a lot of people, we put G. G stands for grams. Thank you for coming to our class. We hope that you learned a lot about measuring in grams. Go, Go Gators! Gators!